Welcome to my Minecraft Orienteering Guide. In case you were wondering, Orienteering is a family of sports that requires navigational skills, using a map and compass to navigate from point to point in diverse and usually unfamiliar terrain. So basically, I'm going to teach you how to get around in Minecraft and find things. I often have students asking me to teleport them from one place to another so they can join their friends. Well, from now on, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to tell you to look at the coordinates, look at the map, and figure it out. So the first thing I want you to notice is in the top right hand corner we have what's called a mini map. Um, and it gives you sort of a basic rundown of the terrain around you. I can see trees, grass, lakes, sand, and pretty much tell where I am on the map and which direction I'm heading. As in most maps, when I head in the upwards direction, I'm heading north, down is south, left is west, and east is right. And that's pretty standard for most maps. Right below that, you're going to see a bunch of numbers, which I'll explain in just a moment. And then it says Menu N Key. Now, it might say N Key, it might say a different key for you. The thing is, this mini-map, when it starts out, it usually has the M key as the menu key. But that doesn't work for us, because we have to use the M key for something else. So most of my students have gone through and changed that. So I'm going to go ahead and press that N key right now and bring up the menu. And I've got all kinds of options here. Uh, the important one for us right now is the key config. And you'll see that's where you could change the menu key. And I've changed it from M to N. You can make it whatever you want, and it'll tell you what it is up here in the right-hand corner. And another one that's very important to us for right now is the X key, because that's going to toggle our large map. The third one that's of importance to us is how to set a waypoint. So we're going to go ahead and look at those right now. I'm going to press OK, exit menu, and the X key turns on the toggles the large map, which gives me a much better view of what's around me. The V key actually sets a waypoint. A waypoint is some place you might want to come back to later. I can see it's getting dark, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that for now. Okay, we're back to dawn. And I was just saying that, so when I press the V key, it's going to mark this down. I'm going to give this waypoint a name. I could call this one spawn point. It's going to tell me the coordinates, and I can change the color that's going to appear on my map uh, by taking these sliders and moving them around to see how much red, green, and blue will be. When I'm ready, I press OK. And now on my map, my mini map, you'll notice that I've created a, a waypoint. Um, that's a blue diamond. So when you have important places in Minecraft that you want to mark and easily find again, it's a good idea to create a waypoint. But keep in mind that your waypoints will show up on every person who's using your computer. So there might be some waypoints in your on your map that don't correspond to anything that you've put there. Just keep that in mind for now. If I'd like to get rid of a, of a waypoint, I can go back to the menu. And instead of going to key config, I have waypoints here and I can turn them off and on very easily. I can also click on them, I press remove, and I change keep to X, and press remove, and now it's gone. Please don't remove other people's waypoints, only yours. Okay, so the next important thing for us to learn is how to use these coordinates. Up underneath my mini-map, you'll notice that I have three coordinates. I have plus 52, plus 244, and 69. And these correspond to the X, the Z, and the Y coordinates. What we're going to be using for the most part are the X and the Z coordinates. The Y coordinates is how high up you are. So if I go a little bit higher, you can see that my last coordinate, my Y coordinate, is going. It went from 60-something up to now it's going to 72. And each time I hop up a block, it goes up by 1. Of course, as I move around, my X and my Z coordinates change as well. So you'll notice that if I head south, those numbers are changing. The first coordinate, the X coordinate, which is now at 40.69, is my X coordinate, and that is east to west. So to make this a little bit more clear, I've turned on my creative mode, and now I'm flying above the trees. So I'm going to bring up my main map, my big map, by using the X key. 
and I'm going to head in pretty much the east direction. And as I head that way, I want you to notice that my first coordinate, my x coordinate, is changing very rapidly. My second coordinate is changing just a little bit, but not very much. And that's because I'm going a little bit north as well as east, but mostly just east. And as I go east, my x coordinate grows larger. If I turn around and head back west, that first coordinate shrinks. If instead I head north, my second y coordinate begins to decrease. And if I instead head south, that y coordinate grows larger. Now I've flown to a place that is plus 12 on the x coordinate and as I move a little bit closer west you'll see it's dropping 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 and I want to point out that what happens is you can go past zero into negative numbers and I want to point out that if you haven't studied negative numbers in math yet even though the numbers are getting bigger the fact that they have a minus sign in front of them and they're negative numbers means that that number is actually smaller so negative 60 is not as small as negative 65. So I'm going west and the number, even though it seems like it's getting bigger, it's actually getting smaller. So the further negative I get, the smaller the number actually is. And both the coordinates can actually be negative. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to warp back to my spawn point to explain what's going on. In just a minute, I'm going to tell you to pause the video and you're going to come back to the, you're going to actually open up Minecraft and you're going to arrive here at my little orienteering course. So I have set up a series of stations and you're going to have to start at the first one and navigate your way through each station based on the clues I give you. Most of the time if you come to this note and right click you're going to see I have left you a note and I've told you that your next station is at the coordinates x47, y244. So you have to use your map to find the coordinates x47, y244, and for now we can pretty much ignore the z coordinate because it doesn't really matter how high up it is. Let's do the first one together. So it says my coordinates are x is 96 and z is 263. So I'm going to remember that. might want to write it down, actually. 96 and 263. So that means I need both of my coordinates, the x and the z, to get larger. So to make the x coordinate larger, I need to head, need to head east. To make the z coordinate grow larger, I need to head south. So if I'm heading east and I'm heading south, I'm actually going to head to sort of southeast. So let's sort of head southeast. All right, and right away, I've got to the point where, let's see, sort of forging a path here. Let's see. Okay. All right, I've hit 96 for my x coordinate. And my y coordinate, which was 263, oops, I've sort of overshot that a little bit. So I probably need to head a little bit north. So let's go north and see if we can find it. Oh, and I think I have found it. So here I am at the second station which is just about at 96, 263, depending on exactly which spot you're standing on. There it is, 96, 263. And then when I click on that, it gives me my next destination. So in order to prove that you've actually been to all the stations, I'm going to teach you how to take a screenshot. And that's just a picture of what's on the screen at that time. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on this screen, which is what I want to see. Nice job, you found station two. I'm going to go down to my start button. And I'm going to search for this program called the snipping tool. The snipping tool is great. So I'm going to click on the snipping tool. 
and when it pops up it's going to allow me to draw a rectangle everything's going to go kind of gray but now I can draw a rectangle around the part of the screen that I want to take a picture of and when I let go of the mouse it makes my picture for me and I can save it so I'm gonna press the save I'm gonna save this snip or this screenshot and it's gonna ask me what I want to do with it so I'm gonna go straight to my S drive I'm gonna go into my tech folder and I am gonna make a new folder by pressing here and I'm gonna call this Minecraft orienteering press enter I'm gonna go inside that folder and I'm gonna call this picture station 2 and you're gonna take a picture like that for every station station 3 all the way up through station 7 and then you're gonna put them on a PowerPoint and I'll show you how to do that right now so I'm gonna go down to the start menu and I'm gonna search for PowerPoint there it is This first slide, I'm just going to say Mr. Eames Orienteering. And now, if I want a new slide, I can come over here and press Enter, or I can press the New Slide button. And it's going to ask me what kind of a slide do I want. Well, all I really need here is I'm going to say, let's do a title and content slide. So that on this, I can say Station 2. And then I'm going to come down here, Insert Picture. I'm going to go back to my S drive where I have that picture in the tech folder in the Minecraft orienteering folder station 2 and then it starts it in there and then when I find station 3 I will go new slide title and content station 3 and then my picture and I'll do that for stations 2 through 7 when I'm finished I'm going to save as back in the same folder in my S drive tech Minecraft orienteering and I'm gonna say orienteering underscore and my last name which is Eames if you don't save it like this I'm not gonna grade it orienteering underscore and your last name and you press save and then we can turn it in on Edmodo so at this point you can stop the video hop into Minecraft and go find those stations. If you get a little confused, feel free to come back to this video and remind yourself how some of these things worked. Happy hunting.